All right, so I was gonna make some tea, but then I also said, I'm gonna be busy today. I need some caffeine. So I'm gonna make some coffee. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is actually condensed milk that we obviously we open the can and we just put it in here. And then the same thing with um, evaporated milk. I don't like a strong coffee, so I do like a one teaspoon of oh, that. I'm uh, probably just gonna use the rest of this evaporated milk. So, just think so. Well, I guess technically that's evaporated milk. And this is regular milk. And this is condensed milk. I guess this is a tres leches coffee. So we're making a tres leches coffee. <laughs> uh, did not plan it out at all, but it just kind of worked out, you know? So. That. Boom. And then I like a sweet coffee, so I'll probably do. And then to make it a tres leches coffee, open that up, put it in a splash, and you now have tres leches coffee. <laughs> I wish I thought about this from the jump, I'll be honest, but it kind of just came to me as I was prepping it. So if that's not your lesson to be present in the moment, uh, when you're doing a simple task because you can improve it slightly. I don't know what it is. You know, it's pretty good. But like I said, I like a little sweet. So I can get this spoon out. I get this spoon out, then I can go ahead and add. So now that's, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and start drinking this. I'm gonna sit on my patio, probably do some meditation. And then, can I get started with my day? Hey, hey yo. You guys cannot tell me that wearing your jerseys out in public is not cool. I paid a lot of money for this freaking crank deck jersey, so I'm gonna wear it. So she's yelling at me because she hasn't gotten enough piss this morning. Ain't that right, so so, oh. And it's the cute aggression. It's the cute aggression time. Hey, yo. You good now? All right, but now, oh, that was bright light. Um, now that I'm ready. What? Really? So she's telling me to tell you guys, if you guys aren't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow us. We appreciate the support. We love you guys. Um, thanks, Shosha, for reminding me. Um, <laughs> but now I'm dressed, I'm gonna put my shoes on, get my helmet ready, um, and then pretty much be ready to go. I literally just have to go to the post office and then everything else that I'm gonna do is gonna be here at the house, so. And there's the bike. Ooh, it hasn't been started in a couple days, so it's gonna be a cold start. glad I got out of that post office when I did because it was popping like there was a lot of people thankfully I got in the line pretty quickly so there's only like two people ahead of me but when I was leaving like there was already someone waiting for me to move out of my parking spot it was ridiculous but we're home time to go do the rest of my list all right so i just finished my food and i actually just finished listening to the audiobook that i was listening to i was listening to the mountain is you um i've been wanting i've been wanting to read it for a while now and i finally listened to it and now i kind of want to actually read the second one uh, which is the mountain is joy i think is the second part um i definitely recommend it it's a really good book uh gave me a lot of perspective uh, you know going forward in life uh but with that being said, I have the energy now to actually do the things that I need to do. Um, which I need to cook some garlic turkey so I can meal prep for Shobi. I got the dishes. I got to build a nightstand. So I got to do an oil change. And it's not going to do itself. So let's All right, 
So I accidentally went on a hour and a half long cleaning journey. So the kitchen is clean, the counter is clean, everything is clean and I am happy. Uh, <laughs> but now I got to start prepping dinner. So I'm going to take this ground turkey and I'm going to make some meatballs. And we're going to make spaghetti and meatballs, I'm assuming. I think that's the plan for tonight. So I'm just going to start prepping these and then when Shelby gets home, then we'll decide that. So let's go. <laughs> I eat a pe peanut butter and jelly sandwich at least once a day. Not gonna lie. All that bread right there, Shelby made that like two days ago. That, that's down to half a loaf already. I like carbs. Like no snack will ever beat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And of course, chocolate milk. Bulking. Bulking as if summer isn't just a few weeks away. Yes, chef. Also, I don't think I've made any videos with the new creamy. So we actually got our hands on a Ninja Creamy. And we have a bunch of yogurt that's going to expire in a few days. So we're going to turn it into some Froyo and eat this tonight. So we're just going to take the regular vanilla one and then... Um, we're going to take this regular vanilla one and then we're going to use it as a base for, you know, like whatever other flavors. So we have frozen fruit and stuff in the freezer. Um, I've had a very uh, busy day, I guess, to say the least. I, and I mean that spiritually, mentally, physically. All the things kind of just wrapped I'm up. I'm going to do the oil change today. Um, I'm kind of like losing all the motivation. I'm getting tired. It's kind of ready to wind down for the night. Uh, and it's tomorrow Saturday, so I'll just dunk it out then. So, yeah. And it is the next day. So I have to bring the girls out for their walk because they like to come outside to the hallway and go for a walk. Um, but their walk mainly just consists of them sitting here and staring. Ain't that right, Binks? What's that show? You good? So with today being a better day, mentally, physically, all the things, <laughs> I feel like we can proceed with all the things that I needed to do. Um, but really the biggest thing that I had to do, and I think kind of the only thing, um, I need to do the oil change on my... As far as the oil change goes, I'm, I'm just going to set up the tripod and do a whole time lapse. So the, the first time I do the oil change on the bike. So let's see how well the process goes. <laughs> waiting for this all to finish draining um it looks like it's almost done so just a couple more seconds and then we'll finish up the rest of it. so this freaking oil filter right here this one i don't know what happened that it ended up getting bent when i was trying to remove it because it has like a little attachment where you can just put a uh, what's called a socket or something or a wrench to turn it and I bent it and it took forever to get this undone but now it's draining so we're almost okay, I can't even lie. I got so excited after I 
finished the oil change and I started up the bike and I was like, you know what, I gotta take it out for a spin, make sure everything's good to go, you know. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, quality control check on the bike and then uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> that was a fun ride. And you guys can't tell me that this helmet, this jersey are not the perfect combination. All right, okay, so Shelby's on her way from her nail appointment. So I'm gonna start prepping our late lunch, I guess we'll call it. Um, we're gonna have a pepper, I honestly don't know what we're making. I'm just gonna start cutting the vegetables and then we'll go from there. Hello, Shelby's here. She ended up finishing up the cooking that she made. Sausage and peppers with cheese. Sausage and peppers with cheese. I'm sure there's a traditional name for it, but it's like a the Polish and Germans have their own variation of sausage and peppers. But this is like with the a little bit of Armenian flavor to it. So it's more tomatoey. Um, add a little bit of cheese on top, but the traditional way to eat it is like, I think it's like a shushushka is the common one, but it's like like eggs or whatever, and you take whatever you're dipping, whether it's naan or pita or bread or whatever, and you scoop it, so like the cheese or the eggs and whatever stays on top. But in this case, there was cheese on top, but this would be the optimal light. Very good. But now the cookers on there. How big of a bite do you think I can take? Well, yeah, a little bit, a lot of flavors. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a good thing you're in a black shirt today. <laughs> it tastes good. You just made a mess. You made a mess. That's what I said, I made a mess. Oh. You got a little bit dicky. Okay, okay. Alright, so now that we got cleaned up. Honestly, this is a really good, like, I want to eat vegetables but still have meat. Give it a 9.2 out of 10. Might be one of the highest ones you've me. Yeah, probably. But this one's really good. I would say the, the corned beef. I mean, yeah, the corned beef. All right, random start to the vlog. Uh, we are on an adventure. We really don't know where we're going. We just have a direction, so we're just going to go down. There's some kind of hills over there. We don't know what's there, so we're going that way. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go that way. So, come on for the adventure. It's pretty out here. Where are we? Irvine Lake. Irvine Lake. Yeah, I mean, we, we've only been riding, what, 20 minutes? But oh, it's so dark. I didn't even, couldn't even tell it was on. <laughs> no, it's on, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's only been like a 20 minute ride, and we just saw this little fishing hole. A little on the side of the road, on it top of like a an mountain. RV too, so I guess you could camp here. Probably. But we're going to go enjoy the water. Yeah. You can get some fishing rods. Go fishing. You can see some little foldable ones that like, at a, what was it? Bass Pro Shop? Yeah, yeah just, you just shrink it down and put it in your bag and you can go with you and I think I need to buy me one of those. What did you say? There's a little road that goes. <laughs>